performance improvement for a novice starts low. You can see it there on the left of the, uh, of the graph. Performance improvement starts low, okay, and rapidly rises, rapidly rises, okay? So they are able to improve at the skills that we're giving them, okay? At the techniques of lifting very rapidly, okay, when coached correctly, all right? And then probably the most important one, need, and I kind of talked about it already, need for training complexity. You see it there at the bottom, okay? That line travels horizontal and doesn't start shooting up until they reach the advanced category of lifting, okay? So we see all these periodization schemes and, uh, I mean, they're fancy, they work, they're good programs. I'm not 100% for sure, okay, if the population that we're training won't deal better with something a little, a little simpler. Okay, a little simple, linear progression. It works. It works for our population, and it works very fast. It works very, very fast. Okay, so there is no need for complex. There's no need for uh, a, a complex training program with this with this population. When in doubt, keep it simple. Mark in the in this book, in this book that he uh, that he published, he recommends seven exercises total. Total. I'm not saying I do. I, I like to do a little bit more than that. Okay. In our program, we do more exercise than seven. But for him, and this guy's this guy's been a strength coach for a long time, long time. Okay, very well known in the field. 